What is up, everybody? Hope everyone's hyped for Lost Ark. I know I am. So I have had the pleasure of playing on the Russian servers, been having a blast, been having a lot of fun. Unfortunately, my old account got lost. Um, when you sign up for the game, everything's in Russian. It's just hard to keep track of and navigate their website for resetting your password. So I had to start over, which sucked. But anyway, what we're here to today uh, is to talk about the Founders Packs, what they include, and uh, the details for each one of them and you know basically what i think is going to be your best bang for your buck if you are getting a founders pack now if you want to play early on the 8th instead of the 11th then you're going to want to get at least a bronze silver gold or whatever but the bronze will let you get in early um, that is on the 8th and i just want to show you guys right here from amazongames.com it is february 8th the game's actually going to launch on the 11th but anybody that gets the Founders Pack will be able to start on the 8th, which is in two days, which is on a Tuesday. So if you wanna play Lost Ark Tuesday and get that head start, you better get a Founders Pack and you better get it quick. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go over what they all include. I had to write some notes because there's a lot of stuff here. So basically all four of these Founder Packs come with this, the three day head start, an exclusive pet, which is just a furry friend, who knows what that is. Uh, when you do get in the game, like right away within the first like 20 or 30 minutes, you're going to get a free pet anyway. So it looks like this one is a kitty cat, <laughs> a little kitty cat with a, with a helmet or something on it. Uh, and you're also going to get a bunny rabbit that picks up your stuff. So if you want the cat, which I love cats, to be honest, um, not one of those crazy cat guys, but I do love cats, then you're going to want to get a founder's pack. Um, you're also going to get the founder's title with all these different packs, <clears throat> and you're going to get the 30-day Crystalline Aura, which is basically just a premium that's going to give you increased leveling experience um, and, you know, just bonuses to, like, various life skills and stuff like that. We'll go over that right now. Now, I don't know the details on all this stuff, and I'm not going to break down every single one, but I am going to give you guys a general idea of what to expect so that you have a little more information on, um, you know, what's included. And I'm also going to throw this link in the description of the video so that you guys could go over here and check it out yourself. So the Crystalline Aura, the 30-day premium, basically, is going to give you this. <clears throat> so you're going to get a Tripos or Triport cost waiver, which reduces your travel cost. You're going to get a 50% uh, liner discount, which is going to be a discount towards your ship when you go and you sail uh, around the, you know, the different areas and the different places. You can travel the seas in this game, and you're going to get a 50% discount for traveling. Not your own ship, but just traveling around the seas. You're going to get a daily NPC affinity interaction plus one, which basically is like a, the reputation system in this game. There's various NPCs throughout the game where you can gain, you know, reputation with them. They give you cool stuff. So that's going to be, you know, one of the benefits of that. You're going to get life energy recovery, 10%. Um, recover life energy used for skills like hunting, logging, and excavating more quickly. So just your life skills. Uh, Bifrost slot plus two. So that's two additional Bifrost slots. Um, which help you return quickly to places you visited. The Song of Return, that's just what the Song of Return is, is basically a recall. So if you're in a dungeon, you want to get out quickly without having to run back out all the way, or you're leveling and you want to go to town really quick to drop off all your stuff, you're going to use Song of Return. So you're basically going to get a 50% um, reduction in your cooldown for your, for your recall, which is pretty good. Uh, Strongholds, research time, 10%. So that reduces the research times for your projects on your island, Stronghold. Uh, stronghold craft time minus 10%, so that's going to reduce the crafting time. Dispatch time, reduce the dispatch timer when sending followers out from your island stronghold. And stronghold action energy recovery speed 10%. Replenish your energy, replenish rather, your energy for doing projects for your island stronghold more quickly. And then the ultimate stress buster, I don't, I don't know what kind of, uh, I do know who's doing the, um, the translation, but Man, free ultimate stress buster. So that is basically a scarecrow that you could put in your stronghold to increase your leveling speed. So that's included with the premium. You're gonna get leveling speed. I don't know how much, but anything will help. And then crystal benefactor title plus the founder's title. So you're gonna get all that stuff no matter which founder's pack you choose, starting with the bronze. Now I'm just gonna quickly go over what the differences are between the four and here we go. So the silver, gold, and platinum 
are all going to give you additional items that the bronze doesn't give you, and that's the Adventurer's Ascent chest for level 20, 30, 40, and 50, and the Gatherer's Tool chest, which is just tools to help you with your life skills starting out. Um, you won't have to craft them or find them. You can just get them given to you. So that's going to actually be pretty big. And that's another reason I say at least go with the silver. Um, now that's going to be silver, gold, and platinum. Now the silver and gold, what they give you that bronze doesn't give you is 10,000 silver and one adventurer's equipment crate. Now the benefit of gold that doesn't, that you don't get from silver, these are the benefits that you get from gold, you know, instead of going with silver. You're going to get 4,000 royal crystals instead of 1,000. You're going to get a founder's exclusive skin and a character expansion slot. So that's the difference between gold and silver. Now the platinum, the difference between the platinum between all these other ones is you're going to get 7,000 royal crystals, a founder's exclusive mount, which we'll go over. It's actually a really cool looking three headed uh, mount. You're going to get a founder skin and exclusive skin. You're going to get exclusive wallpapers, a founder's exclusive structure for your island, legendary rapport gift selection chest, launch limited card pack, uh, 60 resurrection feathers, 50,000 silver, and five adventure equipment crates. And these crates break down into a bunch of different stuff. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I will show you guys what I'm talking about. So the silver, um, Royal Crystals. What are Royal Crystals? Well, they're the uh, premium in-game currency. So you're going to be able to use these in the cash shop, etc. This is the premium currency that you can get. So you get a thousand, which is uh, it's okay for the silver, but you get four thousand for the gold package. And remember, the gold package is also going to give you an exclusive skin and a character expansion slot. So that's why I think, you know, gold might be the way to go. That's what I'm going with instead of silver. But if you're tight on cash, or mom's is not being too nice, then maybe she'll get you the twenty four ninety nine silver pack. <laughs> now. Uh, we're going to start with the silver supply crate. So you're going to get the resurrection feathers, 30 of them, and the gold is going to give you also 30. And then we'll look at the platinum too. So you'll get the 30 resurrection feathers, which basically just resurrect your character. Silver is the in-game currency. You're going to get 10,000 and you're going to get one adventure equipment crate for silver and gold, but five for the platinum. And the equipment crates give you Luteras horns, which summons soldiers to fight alongside you. You get flame grenades, sleep grenades, uh, camouflage robes that make you invisible, and swiftness boots, which make you run faster, and a taunting scarecrow, which you can throw down, pull lots of mobs, and uh, you know kill them all. But this stuff, the adventures crate, is no big deal. Absolutely no big deal. You'll burn through these really fast. It's not a determining factor on whether or not you should get one of these, you know, gold or silver. Uh, what I would base it on is the royal crystals. The fact that you get a skin <clears throat> with the gold, and that's pretty much it. And the character expansion slot, that is pretty big. Now, the tool chest, pretty basic. You're going to get, and this is for all of them, you're going to get the uh, mining, logging, hunting, fishing, excavating, all your different tools for your life skills. So I don't need to go into all that. And then the 20, 30, and 40, you're going to get more silver, more HP potions, and as you go up in tiers, you're going to get bigger and better HP potions. These are major. These are adept. You're going to get elemental, and then lastly, shining elemental HP potions. So they're just going to boost your health bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, <clears throat> some of these offensive items, um, don't actually know what those are. Select one from a variety of offense-oriented battle items. So that's probably going to be more of the grenades and, you know, stuff like that. Um... So that's it for the adventurer's chest and the gatherer's tool chest. Oh man, how do I collapse all these? Jeez, I messed up there. Okay. So um, now the founder's exclusive skin, which you're going to get for gold and platinum, is the exclusive northern lawmaker skin. Let me just see if I could find that. Northern lawmaker skin. So they actually do look pretty cool if that's really it. Here's the uh, the mount, the three-headed dog. And yeah, it looks like, oops. Yeah, it looks like that's what the skins are gonna look like. I don't know. But anyway, so now we kind of have an idea of what the skins might look like. 
And then for the platinum, you're gonna get five of those adventure crates that we talked about. Again, not huge. And you're gonna get Heroes Ascent chests instead of the adventures. So they're gonna give you the same amount of HP, uh, same amount of silver, but you're gonna get, I don't know why that's different. Um, it's named different, but it looks like it gives you the same thing. So who knows? Uh, but you're also gonna get the Founders exclusive skin and Founders skin. So two different skins plus the mount and then a welcome crate, which gives you the wallpapers, the exclusive structure, the a chest holding goods that will endear you to characters across Arcasia and a limited card pack. But the other big things that you're gonna be getting is 7,000 Royal Crystals. You're gonna get, and I guess that's pretty much it, just the, the amount of uh, premium currency. So there's some information for you guys. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any comments, you know, let me know which, which uh, Founders Pack you guys are getting. Talk me into getting the Platinum one. You know, I would like that mount, but I'll tell you what, I'll be spending plenty of money in the cash shop because the cash shop in this game is awesome. There's so much cool stuff to buy. I can't wait. My wallet's going to be hurting. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, I'm also going to do a video um, probably right after this one on the transition from New World to Lost Ark. Uh, I'm not going to stop playing lot or New World at all. I'm not going to stop making content. You know what? I'll save it for the video. So be on the lookout, and uh, I hope to see you guys in Lost Ark. Have a great day, everybody.